just your normal 240, right? Everything about this is 240. Look at that, look at that. Oh, what do we got here? One different wheel. Huh. All right, what is up, YouTube? <sighs> Thursday. Thursday, that means I gotta go to work. It means I work both jobs today, so it should be fun. Uh, I wanted to do video with the 240 today, just, oh, sorry, down here. Huh. Anyways, I wanted to do a video with the 240 today. Uh, just kind of talk about what the plans are, because um, I know some of my friends have been asking, you know, what's going to happen to Stacy, and what kind of has been happening, and I'm going to just go through this whole year uh, real quick in like a short video, because I do have the uh, Stacy the 240, the movie that I've been working on, and uh, when that's done, you'll obviously be able to see the whole process of how this whole thing happened, but I'm going to go through this really quickly. Uh, basically, back in um, February, or sorry, Jan January, uh, the thing came up that I was moving to Oklahoma, and um, so I basically just sold every vehicle that I had, uh, got as much money as I could, bought the motor and trans uh, for this car, and then um, in a matter of like two days or so, or was it two days? I think so. It was about no, I think it was about a week. About a, a matter of a week, we uh, we dropped the motor in. Uh, myself, uh, we call ourselves the Shop Bros. So it was myself, Zach Sauter, and Jonathan Sauter. Uh, my friend Derek did come through to help, and um, oh, I can't think of the other guy. Oh, he's gonna kill me for not remembering his name. Anyway, the. I can't think of his name, but anyway, so another friend did come and uh, come through and help me out um, at the very end of it to kind of help uh, do some finishing touches. Then um, I was on my way here on Monday morning uh, to Oklahoma, and about an hour into my trip, I uh, the the motor blew, which was like really weird, like it, like overheated or something, and so then I ended up being stranded out in like the northern part of Texas uh, for a week until I can get the whole thing sorted out and that sucked. And then I um, end up meeting some random stranger like you know the one of those angel things like I met an angel at a gas station. Um, actually let me start over I met this girl named Madison that worked at the gas station and that whole week she let us she let me eat uh, like the, the the gas station food for free and free drinks too so shout out to madison madison uh uh thank you for reals thank you so then i met this angel dude um and he had a truck and then um it came down to like hey you know i'll help you uh i'll I'll take you up to uh, Oklahoma, wherever you got to go. No big deal. So we left Friday night, um, put my car on the trailer, and had towed it up. And towed it up to Oklahoma. I mean, obviously, I had to foot the bill for the gas and whatnot, but and all that stuff, and trailer, and yeah, it was crazy. But yeah, that's that's how that happened. So then I got here, obviously blown motor, or yeah, warped head and all this other stuff. Sent that the head to the machine shop. Machine shop tried to work on it. They said that the motor had been bad for a while. Blah blah blah. I don't want to really get into all that. But anyways, uh, got a new head sent up here from uh, my buddies down in uh, Irving, Texas, um, and then like uh, a built head, and then I got that sent over. Along with the motor to uh, Andy Dennington, who then, or sorry, to another shop, then we sent that, then we sent my car over to Andy Dennington at One Up Performance, uh, One Up Performance, and then they um, they took the motor out, got a new motor, I think it's the same head, the new the newer head or whatever, and uh, yeah, the car was working. So then this is the part I hate. <coughs> <coughs> uh, my other friend, my new friend here, Maddie, 
all these Maddies saving my life. I don't, I don't know what that is, but anyway, Maddie took me up to one up and um, Tuttle picked up my car, drove it here, was getting my paperwork so I could go get it registered. I drive down the road maybe like two minutes out of, not even two minutes, like one minute out of my neighborhood, and then I got pulled over. That royally sucked because it was like, oh my gosh, I already know what they're going to say. But the weird thing is there's no way they could have seen my license plate because of how low my car is and how far back they were. So they basically just profiled me, which royally pissed me off. And I was definitely in the inbox about it and how that officer treated the whole situation and how it made me disgusted. Ugh. And, I, and I backed the blue. Like, that doesn't... Uh, that's retarded. Excuse me for using the R word. Anyway, um, car got impounded for, uh, I think it was 15 days. Had to work my butt off, paid the impound, got the car out, got the car registered. Already had insurance on it. And now here we are four months later. And so, yeah, it's been a process. Uh, I will say that anytime you have a goal or something you're working on, you cannot give up. <laughs> Basically, I paid $1,300 for this car without, it had, it had a motor, but the motor had uh, a, a spun bearing, sold the motor and trans, was going to put a 5.7 in it, a bunch of other stuff happened and other cars were purchased and just a lot of things happened. And this car sat for like three years or four years, I think. And um, here it is four years later, and it is now my daily, you know. Um, and then, of course, I paid $1,300 for that motor, that blue. And then $400 for a new motor plus, what was it, five, $900 for labor. So that's another, th I've, like, there's almost like five grand into this thing. <laughs> So no, there was no way I was just gonna get rid of it and just let the police impound, which was like $470, uh, just take my car. Like we weren't doing that. No sir, no sir. But yeah, this is my car. And uh, you guys are gonna start seeing more videos as time goes, just cause uh, I wanna show y'all what I'm doing. Uh, as of now, you can see this car right now. It's like got a white hood, and black fender here, you know, some stuff over here. I, I got a new window coming for my buddy down the street. Um, I'm going to wrap this probably either. I probably, I'm thinking of putting the Mexican flag up here just because we represent but Mexican flag up here. And then the rest of this will either be wrapped or um, plastic dip. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. Um, I think I am going to go wrap just like on here, but then plastic dip on these uh, Like this and the hood Just cuz I mean, you know, why not? Let's be different um, I Gotta go to wheelpros.com because I have an, a new guy out here He's gonna help me get some wheels. Uh, I ordered some STRs um, but the ones I got were five lug, which I, I think I have put a picture of them on my Snapchat at Blackie Chan MMA, and it just ended up being the wrong wheels and whatnot. So I had to send those mugs back, and um, so now it's just a weight game to see what I'm gonna do. Um, also, also I have uh, SR20 injectors, and then like there's some turbo stuff there. Uh, really, all I'm, <clears throat> all I'm going to keep out of this is just the uh, intercooler and the uh, oil lines, the send and receive lines, and the adapter for the oil, uh, which we'll call it. And um, I'm going to have to get all new piping, though, because that piping sucks. It's like an eBay kit or something. But, yeah, I'm going to do that, and eventually we're going to get this thing boosted. I mean, it's boost weather right now, you know what I'm saying? So, might as well. Um, yeah, on the inside, there's really nothing going on. Um, 
I think one thing I am going to have to do is you can see there's no radio. So I have the radio in my room upstairs, but I may end up getting another one. Um, and you can see I already got one GoPro mount here. There's one up there, one back there, and there's going to be one on either side. And I want to show the whole, whole car yet. But so basically I already started gutting um, the whole car. There's no back seat, no trunk, no nothing. Uh, I gotta get rid of this spare tire though, cause I don't know why it's back there. Um, like I said, you know, radio, my heat works, AC doesn't work, but who needs AC when you got windows <laughs> and their power? Also, you know what I'm saying? Gotta represent Cars of JCTV. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, and if you want a sticker, look at that. Cars of JCTV. If you want a sticker? Let me know. See how we can work out something. I need to make like a store where people can go and order stickers and shirts and stuff. That is something that I'm going to do. Look at that. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Uh, just a little update on the car. You know, it's a 240. You know, 240 in my garage. I'm happy, uh, you know, and I also got my bike, which I may start uh, riding again, just cause, you know, why not? It's something fun, it's, you know, cardio, building my legs. I can't really do too much else while, uh, you know, I still got like four and a half weeks before I can start training again. So in the meantime, you know, just be working on my car, working on music, uh, like I said in the last video, you know, just, uh, let me know how you guys are liking the songs that are coming out. I'm just writing real stuff right now. And I'm not trying to, you know, make no one hit wonder to some dance song with Whip and Nay or Drift in May or I don't even know what kind of song I can make. But, you know, right now I'm just talk, talking to people about my life and real experiences, things that have happened. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's go on back. Uh, it doesn't pause when I do that. I hate that. Somewhere over the rainbow. What are you looking at? Nah, um, so I'm about to go get on the water. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, I, uh, I do this quite often. Just get in the canoe and do a lap. Come back. Get started with my, uh, excuse me, come back, get started with my day. Um, yeah, so, man, I look terrible. I look so tired. I am tired, though, you know, working hard, you know. Hard workers don't really sleep. I, I realize that, you know, I, I hear, like, Drake and all these other artists talk about how they don't sleep. I'll sleep when I die or whatever. Now, but for real, like when you're really working, this would be the end of the video. It's already, you know, long, but when you're working hard towards something, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, when you're working hard towards something, it is really difficult to, I, I don't even know how I want to put this. It is really difficult to just, do everything right so what i mean by that is getting the right amount of sleep um eating the right amount of food uh, drinking enough water drip splash um taking care of your family uh, taking care of business like there's when you're focused on one thing like so for me right now my goal right now is to just get healed so i can number one work towards uh, my brown belt test but then also, number two, work towards becoming a professional fighter next year and also taking my music to from where I'm at now to the very next level, which is like not just statewide, but like statewide, Mexico, Canada, all North America, Africa, Europe, like people knowing my music, getting to that point to where my music is out there. See what I'm saying? So in order to get there. There are days where I don't sleep, and I know there's a lot of videos that you'll see, like, I don't know, I think I'm on my, like, 88th video for YouTube, but you look through, um, 
videos and you'll see like I have bags under my eyes and it's like man does this dude not sleep and there's times where I really don't because like I'm focused towards getting stuff done I'm focused on um, reaching my particular goals and sometimes I, I don't get sleep and I do complain about not sleeping because that's something that I've had issues with since I was like I don't know 14 or 15 um, and so, but but with that being said, um, now that I have these goals, I mean, I've always had these goals, but since I had these goals, it's like, you know what, why not use it to my advantage? It's like, I already know, excuse me, I already know that it's hard for me to sleep at night, so why not use that time to write songs? Why not use that time? to plan out my day, to plan out my next YouTube video, um, you know, things like that. And so that's what I've been doing um, in the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, I just had a very traumatic experience happen. Um, and I'm not trying to like milk that or anything because I don't want to be that guy. Um, but it definitely has changed the way that I think now and the way that I do things and like like even what I want to do with my life like I really don't want to get into any of that stuff but it's it's just like now I have a whole new perspective of what it is that I want to do with my life like giving a voice to people who don't usually have a voice and one of those, like you've heard in my uh, my song, Help Me With My Case or whatever, one voice is to the men who have to struggle with the after effects of being falsely accused of, uh, of ter like heinous crimes, such as sexual assaults and other things. But to the men that have to deal with that, um, because as a as a male I mean, people are going to say black male, so you can call it whatever. As a male that has now gone through that, I now understand at least what it is to go through this and that there are people out there like myself who can't sleep at night, who can't, who don't want to be around people's children. Like, there's just so much stuff that comes with like, I don't want to say like a whole, whole lot of the things that go on now, but before, I mean, and after all this, it's like, man, it is such, it's such a huge burden and stress because you got people like, did he, I wonder if he did, man, you know, well, I wouldn't put it past, man, that's not who, you know, and so there's just all this stuff that comes with that and it's super annoying super annoying oh my gosh and it's like man trying to find people to represent you to like combat the things that have happened it, it, like there, there's so much because my life is now ruined and the, the individuals who said the things that they said get to go about their lives as if nothing has happened and it's not fair it's, it's really not fair man you know cause number one Everyone knew I didn't do anything. And it's like, now that it's over, it, now that it's over, it, it's weird because they're out there doing the things that they're doing, living their lives, no big deal. And I'm the one that has to suffer and I'm not going to say too much about certain things because, you know, like I said, this this is going to end up being a, a huge deal 
by the time we're through with this. But now it's at a point where my mind is all jacked up. And I, I, I don't even know what to think. You know, I, I was at a point last week, if it wasn't for talking to my dad, I was at a point where I was about to quit my job. Because I'm like, you know what? Why would I go back? Why would I want to be around the same situation? But I'm like, you know what? Like my dad said, you know, it's our, my job. My job is a ministering thing, and it's it's not for everybody. 